What's going on YouTube? It's AG here. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on the offensive settings that you should be using in 2K22. And in particular today we're going to be going over formation sets. And this is going to be the first in my series of tips and tricks on both offensive settings and defensive settings that you should be using in 2K to maximize your head-to-head -head ability. So as you can see on the screen behind me, I'm in the greatest of all time category myself on 2K online head-to-head. And so if you're an online head-to-head -head player, if you're an online competitive player, or if you just play against your friends on 2K, these tips are going to help you reach your next level, help you reach your potential, and help you potentially get into the greatest of all time category. So today I'm going to be breaking down the formation set that you should be using that can get you into that category. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started on today's video, do me a favor and hit that big old red subscribe button down below. That way when I post my next offensive settings tips and tricks, you'll be the first one to know about it. All right, so today we'll be going over freelance sets. And if you don't know how to get the freelance sets, it's going to be to the left on the directional pad, and that's going to pull up all those shown on the screen now. So with freelance sets, you have a few options, but my freelance set of choice is going to be four out, one inactive. So with four out, one inactive, that's going to space the floor pretty well. It's going to give you a lot of driving room. It's going to get shooters open. It's going to get one-on-one -on -one matchups. It's going to give you room to work, room to get open shots. So as you can see on the screen now, Look how much space there is in the paint. I drive, I got one off one, bam, that easy. All right, so the pick is gonna be your best friend in this because look how much space there is in the paint. I get the mismatch, I hit the roller, bam. So again, in this next clip, same thing. Look how much space is in the paint. I get their pick, I'm driving, I'm driving, that easy. All right, so in this next clip, I don't have to just pick and roll. Say I've got somebody that's off balling on defense, he's playing on the center, he won't leave the paint. I can put a shooter at the center, to pick and pop like that. All right, so doing this, instead of having him roll off the pick, have you see I press R1 to have him fade. So I'm gonna drive off the screen, I get the switch, I hit him, and he hits the three. All right, so another option you have is to put your best player at center, like I have here. If you noticed, I had Luka at center. So you can do this with Luka, LeBron, Kawhi, Giannis, Jimmy, you name it, okay? You can throw him at center. Same thing, if you got somebody that won't leave the paint, you can put your best player at center, and that's going to draw them out. So look at here when I bring the ball up with Luka. Watch. There's nobody in the paint. Look, there's nobody in the paint. That means I can just drive all day. Once he starts collapsing on that later, I can dish it out for the wide open three, as I'll show you in a little bit. But if I've got my best player at center, I can bring it up, and there's nobody in the paint. I can just ISO, and bang. All right, so in these next few clips, I'm going to be using the Bucks instead of the Mavericks. Mind you, the freelance set that you're going to be using is the 4 out one inactive. Look how much space I got in the paint. I'm going to get the pick. I'm going to drive. i got the mismatch now. i got Harden on Brook Lopez, and I can just bully him all day. The 4 out one inactive creates so much space in the paint. Look, there's nobody in the paint. It means I can easily drive and get the dunk. Similar to the last clip and this one, there's so much space. If I drive, there's nothing they can do. You may have noticed on that last one that I should have kicked it out the holiday, and I'm going to later. This is going to set the stage for what I can do when I kick it out. So driving over and over is eventually going to cause them to collapse. And once they do collapse, once they start coming down the double team me, I'm going to be able to kick out for the wide open three, as shown in a little bit right here. So I would have liked Middleton to go a little deeper on there, but he came in. He's still got enough space to hit the green. Watch this clip here, and he's going to collapse, and Middleton's wide open. Bang. You don't need a superstar to do this. If you can see in this clip, I don't have Giannis, but I'm still going to pick and pop because i got a center that can hit the three. And the four out one in gives you enough space that I can get an open look, and I can roll, or I can fade, and chances are I'm going to get an open look no matter what. Shown here, it gives me enough space to get open three, bang. This clip here is a perfect example of the longer you go in the game, the more they're going to start collapsing, which is going to lead to more open threes. So as you've seen, I should have hit content in the corner here, but I didn't. So watch, as I drive, thought was going to collapse down, corner is wide open, and I should have hit him. The more paint touches you get, the more they're going to collapse. See, I've got Middleton in the paint, I've got Allen wide open in the corner, because everybody collapsed, and once you get to the paint, on-user defensive players are going to ball watch, and they're going to slowly slip off of their guys, which is going to lead to open threes like that. Again here, the more you get in the paint, the more open threes are going to be like so. Here I'm backing down with Giannis, which is going to draw the double team. I hit Middleton for the wide open three. If not, I could have hit Holiday or Allen too. Friendly reminder that this is going to be your freelance sets choice, and that's going to be four out, one inactive. That's going to give you driving room. It's going to give you wide open threes, and it's going to let you really run up the score here. As you can see, I'm up 93 to 48 at this point because over and over and over I get open threes. Make sure to be on the lookout for my next video where I'll be going over the primary focus that you need to be using on offense in 2K. Thanks for checking out my video. For more 2K tips and tricks, subscribe down below. That way when I post offensive settings and defensive settings, you'll be the first one to know about it. If you enjoyed this video today, be sure to hit the like button and share it to anybody else that may need some tips and tricks on how to maximize their potential on 2K. Until next time, AG out. Ooh, yeah,